Well, guys, we've got a massive video today. It's actually going to be two private pick opportunities. It's a bit of a road trip. We're going to be cruising an hour north to catch up with Nathan. Nathan and I met at the flea market a couple of weeks ago, and he made mention that he had a few video games and a few other bits and pieces that he thought that I might be interested in purchasing for my own eBay business. So we're going to be doing that. Hopefully, he's got some good stuff, and then we're going to be going even further north to catch up with Laura. Now, you guys actually may remember Laura she was in a couple of my videos from last year in a private pick opportunity. She's invited me back. She said, I've got a lot more stuff for you, Matt. So I'm going to cruise up there and hopefully buy a whole stack off her as well. Courtney's coming along for a ride. This is going to be my biggest video ever on this channel. So I'm looking forward to bringing it to you. Let me know if you like the long form style of content. Let's dive into it. Should be a fun one. We found it. Get your butt in here. Hello, mate. <laughs> How are you doing? Good to see you. Hello. This is Courtney. Courtney Nathan. 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 Nice I think this nice is your one. Oh, thank you so much. I think that's yours, yeah. yeah. Man, look at all this stuff. So I've got everything as neatly possible as I can, so you know, you guys... You're in groups. Yeah, we're sort of in groups, yeah. Wow. Very cool stuff off the get, hey. Can already tell. And what have you got in there? You got a little... We'll, we'll have a look at that later. Have a look at that later, <laughs> he reckons. There's a room over there. So Just that... Just that little room. We'll go and check that out later. I love that. <laughs> That's elite, mate. Um, this is all of the stuff that Nathan's got that he just wants to kind of get rid of because of that cleaning aspect. There's a lot of time that's got to go into it and he just doesn't want to do it. As you can see here, this sort of stuff, all these sort of, all these sorts of games, like that really would just give Nathan a bit of a tick, I'd imagine. Um, so this is where the opportunity for us, Courtney and I, comes in where he's letting us have a bit of a look through all of this stuff and obviously purchase and, and we can sell it on eBay ourselves. I'm probably not gonna to go to the extent that Nathan would and try and clean this stuff before I sell it. I'm probably just gonna buy it, sell it as is, um, but that's just not the way that Nathan operates and that's probably where it comes into our advantage. So we're just gonna keep sifting through all of this allocation here and hopefully we can work out a really good deal because this stuff is really good. It's the sort of stuff that you'd wanna be selling on eBay. But yeah, I just filled up a bag, man. Yeah. Of all this stuff. This is Carrara Markets, I'm saying, yeah. yeah. It was busy. You, you've got to come out with me, I reckon, Courtney. Yeah. How far, is it not for about, you said the other one? Yeah. Yeah, that's, how far is that for about? Oh, not for about, so. Yeah. Worth, worth checking out. Yeah. That is it. Look at this, we haven't talked about this. All untested, I'm assuming. Yes, that's correct. Yeah. That's what I'm saying, it's like, it's like a whole bunch of stuff that you're not gonna be able to sell on eBay. Yeah. Oh, I'll probably buy them. I'll probably have to buy them. Um, what's the story on the? What's this? Uh, so there's super. Uh, they're Famicom. So Never seen that. Nintendo Entertainment System. Basically like um, Japan's version of NES. Does it still play on Aussie? No. You just need a converter. You need a converter. Yeah. yeah, I've never even seen that. Oh yeah, there you go. They look cool, eh? They're, they're not Funkos. Now oh, that you got a base down there. And if you have the four, just have a look at the comps of the, the four of them sort of So Nathan was just saying that all of these are actually complete in box, which is pretty exciting to see. I mean, obviously the original box of anything is gonna be worth a few more dollars. So a PS2 box. Uh, we've got a Nintendo Wii Black there, a Nintendo Wii White. Uh, Wii Sports in there, which is good. And then this one as well, this is the bee's knees. You've got the Mario and Luigi 32 gig premium pack. Um, complete in box, so. Haven't done a lot of consoles, we were just saying, because uh, it's a little bit expensive to ship off, um, but all dependent on the price that you can get it for and then what it ultimately sells for. This is where your e-profit calculator comes in handy, because um, you can use that to work out what the margins on these sort of items would be. But something like this, with the weight and the size of it, would probably be, I don't know, 20, $25 to ship off. Um, so you just gotta take that into consideration when you're trying to flip something like this. This is really cool too. Lock on, lock on X2 on the Sega. And that would be complete too. Really cool. What's this, Nathan? Um, so that's here, like, get shot, like when you get, a, get hit by a gun or something. It's like a full on backpack that you connected to the, oh. to the console. Wow, look at that. Pretty crazy, eh? Like VR back in the day. And this is for the Genesis? Um, yeah, Sega Genesis. I think it was for a couple, couple of consoles. Um, and it's, it's about 
bucks. To sell it, yeah. it's worth about 90. Yeah. Yeah, wow. Well, people would collect it just for the box. Yeah. Yeah. They just want that box. Same with this. Like, look at that guy. He's so intensely into that game. <laughs> <laughs> people love this sort of stuff. Rugby. Oh, I see. Um, there's M NFL. It's a couple of different bits and pieces. Um, Pokemon in here. Transformers. Complete collection part one and two. That's pretty good, eh? Is it? Yeah. Um, um, I feel like it would be. So I had 20 bucks on it. 20? It's selling for like one sold, I think, for 129, and You're... another sold for 50. Is it really? Yeah. Transformers. DVD. But I think it was the 129 one was in the state, so. Yeah, this in the States doesn't really stress me out. Yeah, there's one here for 90. 90? Yeah, it's sold comp for 90 on it. Some of these can go for a bit of money, eh? Yeah. These Skylanders. Have they? Oh, <laughs> I actually didn't see that. How good's that? I love, they, they sell really well. Yeah. Is there a, um, do you know about the colorway of this one? Yeah, so it's called a, a Burby Boomer. A and Boomer. Crystal. Crystal. Yeah. <laughs> and actually I picked that up for a dollar. Dude, I bet you did. Yeah. I've found a few in the op shops as well. These things go for a good amount of money. It's about 40 bucks. It's a 40 dollar one, is it? Yeah, 40 to 45. Um, but then that- It lights up. All as well, that, that particular one that sold. Oh, so it's about 50. Yeah. 50 total revenue. Yeah, nice. What, what are you doing it for? Um, let's get 20 bucks. 20 bucks into 50 bucks? Yeah. Put him aside. Profit, okay. Yeah, true. I'll put him in my little allocation. Put him there. So, Jurassic Park. What do you got there, Courtney? Did you press the button yet? Jurassic no, Park Monopoly. Press the oh my god. <laughs> I actually love Jurassic Park. Love Jurassic Park. You might keep this one then. I just might play it. You know. might just play it. <laughs> Do you know what it's worth, Courtney? Uh, I haven't looked into it, yeah. What's it worth? What are we talking? Yeah, 50. 50. 50 worth. Yeah. Yeah. Because you've sold a few Monopoly. Monopoly right? sets sell well. I haven't seen a Jurassic Park one. It's complete. Hey? I don't know. Oh, you don't know. Can open it and find <laughs> out. Op shop buy. Um, 15? I think 12, say. What did you say? 20. 20. So you spend 20 to make 11. So that's the sort of scenario where you try and get it for 10. Oh, yeah. yeah. But what you do, I think, in this scenario is um, find everything that you want. Yeah. And then because of the volume, yeah. then you work out what your price is. You can tell I'm a DVD guy, though. Hey, I'm just, like, allocating. And I'm a <laughs> You're just hunting down these Pokemon books. They're good though. That Voltron's a really cool book. It is. I, I don't know about this one though. I haven't really found Voltron yet, but. Yeah, it's Pokemon. It should go okay. Black two, white two. That's a good one. Yeah. I've seen, I've sold that one before. Uh, and then. Just... Are they Funkos, are they? Yeah. Which one? Um, just underneath the hats. Get all that shit. Yeah, I can start pulling it all out. So there's a few Japanese ones in here, hey? Yeah, and a bunch of uh, 64 stuff. 64 as well. Gotcha. Is there a price that you've got individually on these or is it more of a box price? I do. Yep. But, um, yeah, happy to do my prices. I'm happy to look at, I'm happy to talk that's going to be too large of a number for me, but we can talk around the box for that on the value. Yeah. For the PS1s. Yeah. Rather than sitting here and sifting through everything. It'd be good to get just some, some bulk prices off you. And they roughly sold $40 a game. 
they sell for 40 a game. Roughly. Gotcha. So, so yeah, it's like four grand worth of video games. That's, why are you listing that yourself? Oh man, because oh, it's the whole cleaning thing. Huh? Really? <laughs> yeah. yeah. yeah so Nathan, Nathan, I don't know if we've touched on it in this video yet. Nathan's a meticulous cleaner. Loves to really <laughs> sit there and just spend hours just meticulous. It's the collector in you. Yeah. That's what oh, it is. Yeah, totally. And we'll see that later on. Okay. So this, this column of pricing is what it sells for on eBay. So Harry Potter 29. Mm. Yeah. So what, what on an individual sale ball, that one game, what would you just look to sell that one for? For you. Yeah. 50% off. 50%. So it'd be a fifteen dollar. So we have a look at that. Mm. But so obviously, I'm taking into account no eBay fees, yeah. no postage. So fifteen dollars, fifteen percent off from, for eBay fees. So if I bought it for fifteen, mm. with fees, post, cost of goods, all of it taken out, I'd make three bucks. So mm. I just don't know. I'd have to try and buy a few and lower that that purchase price. Mm -hmm. Um, to make it viable, like to spend 15 to make three. Yeah, it's not worth it. It's not worth the time. It's just not worth it. No. Nah. Mm. So, and that's why this e-profit comes in so handy because mm. I can see, yep, cool, $30 item. Um, but to make any form of margin, like if I put it down to five, that'd make 13 profit. Mm. And that's more the, the ballpark of what, what would be viable in going ahead with. Even at 10, you spend 10 to make eight mm. at a $30 sale price. Mm. Um, so yeah, I'd be more looking to try and get that price between that five to ten dollar mark for a few of these games if they're around that thirty dollar. Yeah. If, if it's a few more, like a forty, fifty, sixty dollar game, obviously I'm happy to pay a bit more. But it's always working off those margins yeah. um, to make it just worth my time. Otherwise, to list it, to ship it, you know, to get it sold, to wait for the money to return, to be out of pocket fifteen. Yeah, time consuming. Time consuming, and you're also holding cash in a product that's only going to net you three dollars. Mm. So I'm, I'm losing 15 cash flow to hold for a three dollar collect at the end yeah. of the day. Yeah. So it's yeah. just um, it's just accounting for that, I guess. Even though you know they're going to sell, it's just a return off the initial purchase price. Mm. So if you hold on to that one, I've looked out a few here, for instance, that I know are quite good. So there's that time crisis. And see, as well. that's where because there's it platinum. Would almost be better for me to just like bundle those 30, like 20 to $30 games together. Yep. Yeah. yeah, yeah, if you've got segmented price points of, you know, $50, $60, $100 plus games, mm. um, and given your awareness of the price points of everything, um, it'd be a better way to work on margins that way. Mm. I don't know if you know off the top of your head with this box, which or what, from a pricing perspective. Yeah, I do. If you do, I that's reckon. Why, that's why I'm so like, at markets and stuff because I just run and just grab, 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 grab You can, grab, you can grab. see it. Yep, mm. absolutely. So, I mean, yeah, that, that would be kind of the way I think we go about it to try and work out a deal. And mm. um, to try and see what, all right, what are the best, what are the worst. Because I'm, I'm, I'm absolutely into PS1. Um, and it's a really good little collection that you've got here. So, it'd be awesome to try and make something work. I've looked out these games. Value of them, I mean, they're going to be 30, 40 odd dollars. I don't know if you can see any in these titles here that are, you know, worth more than that. Yeah. Tell me, because you, you know more than I do. Yeah. 42. 42 games. Um, so we're looking at $400 on all of these games, 42 games for $400. These I was also interested in as well. Um, we had some initial price points earlier. I've forgotten what the price points were. What are we What are we looking on all of them? Um, I think Courtney had these books of interest as well. What's what that? Did we say on the um, uh, Master System games? Master System games. I think we were saying, oh, I don't know. They're, they're both thirty dollar games, so it's a bit like this scenario. Yeah. You know what I mean? It'd be that sort of a, you know, five to seven dollar on those games to make, you know, ten or I think eight dollars in profit. That one, uh, so yeah, I have to be, I have to be at 10 on those. On 10 on those, okay, 10 on them. Yeah. Um, so 10 into 30 sort of a scenario. They don't have their manual. No. Um, I may leave them. Yep. I'll leave them for now. They're, they're, they're quick sellers. They, they are good, yeah. It's just, as quick as they are, just 
10 into 30. Let's let's keep them here. Let's look at let's look it's at these. A it's a maybe. <laughs> these are almost a yes. Uh, these, yep, we'll go with maybe. Yeah. So we got we got this. <laughs> so I think that's 105. That was 80. Yeah. That was 25. So we got 105. Mm -hmm. And then we had um, 400 there. Yeah. So we got 505. Total yeah. cost. Cool. Um, what are you thinking on the um, turtles? Uh, that, yeah. I'll leave. Yep, I'll leave that. So we've got all of these PS1 games, those DVDs and VHS, the Furby and the books. 505. Did you do a clean 500 bucks? Yeah, easy. Four. Oh my god. What's in four? 300. <laughs> 400. <laughs> so genius. <laughs> so naughty. 500, my man. Thanks, bro. Cheers. Unreal. Cheers. Yeah, cool. That was awesome. Yeah, it was fun. Hey. That was epic. Yeah, it's really cool. Be, uh... This is what I've been waiting to see. How long have you had this set up? Last year. Yeah. Have a look at that. Do you worry that there's no like blind or anything? Uh, or there is a blind? Yeah, there is a blind, yeah. yeah. Wow, look at this. But yeah, it's fully alarmed and stuff. So. Oh, is it? Yeah. yeah, I bet it is. What do you think it's worth if you had to guesstimate? Uh, we don't want to guesstimate. Because <laughs> <laughs> the new, new editions get added all the time, so. Damn. <laughs> What's your prize possession? That is unbelievable. This is probably the prize possession, right? Um, yeah, so that that's actually Japanese. So there, I'm in the they've gone up in value quite a bit, but yeah, like it was probably like maybe a year, a year to two. Oh, just before COVID, those were quite cheap. In Japan. Wow. And then that's the power exclusive one. Yeah, I noticed that one in there. They go for a lot, don't they? It's just such but an epic room. Such an epic room. So, These things cost a bomb. Your Xbox stage. Guess how much that was? Two hundred. Uh, hundred bucks. Yeah, that's elite. I yeah. saw one on Facebook yesterday for eight hundred dollars. Yeah, 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 and I it was it was an absolute mess, and I just deconstructed it, really, resprayed it, gave it a real clean, yeah. polished it up. Yeah, it's the perfect room. It's so cool. Um, yeah, just gave it a bit of love again. Yeah, mm. absolutely. And do you play it off that as well? Yeah, you can play. It. Stand there and play. Yeah, stand there and play. How how often do you spend in here? Not as much as you think. Yeah. It's a perfect spot, mate. It's just too busy reselling and finding more stuff. Yeah. Finding more stuff out on the hunt. And then I'm sure a lot of that gets found comes in here too. Yeah, 100%. Doesn't go onto eBay. Yeah, that's the problem, mate. Yeah, I know. It's holding on to the stuff that you find rather than moving it on. Yeah. Well, appreciate you letting us have a look. No, I know the viewers of the channel would uh, absolutely love to see that. This is like my dream yard. How, how nice so is it? Nice. Yeah. It's incredible, mate. I'm taking a photo for um, Madison. Yeah. <laughs> for her uh, dream board. <laughs> You'll have video of it anyway. Yeah, there's plenty of video. Nah, that's unreal, mate. Nah, I appreciate you getting us down here, getting a deal done. I'm going to shoot off to Laura's now and uh, buy even more. So we're going to have listings through the roof, which will be good. So the first stop out of the way, guys. Uh, that was pretty cool. Nathan, he's got an awesome setup there. Um, I was pretty happy with the 500 roll purchase. Um, Courtney and I are probably going to split a couple of those PlayStation 1 games between ourselves because you only got the books, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah, Courtney only grabbed the books. Um, bookworm. The, the bookworm, back at it. <laughs> but uh, look, really nice guy, great setup. A relationship that we'll maintain over the next couple of months, no doubt about it. Uh, that's the first stop, though. We're going to cruise off for the second stop now, which is Laura's place. Uh, you guys may have actually remembered Laura from a few months ago, if you've been watching this channel. I actually went to her place twice, and um, she had so much cool stuff, and I was able to do big deals with her. 
Um, so this is a monster episode. I know this is going on a lot longer than what a typical video does. You tell them to just subscribe. Subscribe. Subscribe for more one hour episodes. <laughs> subscribe for more one hour episodes. Yeah. Kangaroos. Oh my hey, God. buddy. Donut's gonna come from the car. Hey go, buddy. Go for it. Look at this guy down here. Oh, he's little. Hey mate. He's really going in the outback for these pigs. Yeah, this is Outback Australia, everybody. <laughs> we just put the cam uh, the camera on the ca on the uh, kangaroos. Be careful, there's a few really big ones, and they're very tame, and they will stand in front of your car. Hey. Hey. Good to see you. Good to see you. Thank you. <laughs> Hello, guys. Oh, what hey. cuties. So cute. Hey, this is an awesome spot, though, Laura. Yes, it's very lovely. Just watch out for the brown one. She'll run. Hi. So, Jeez, you've done really well. Hi. Are you happy to be in? Oh, yeah, it was hard living with mum because she wasn't really yeah. expecting. Look um, at this layout. Wow. Yes, yeah, so. You've got it all decked mom, out. Mum came over this morning and helped me put some stuff out for you. It's incredible. Cool. Have a look at this, guys. I've just turned the camera on. <laughs> all Saints, we've got Pack to the Rafters here. Um, I'm seeing Scrubs. What's this show? I don't know this about this show. Poirot. What's that show? Poirot. Poirot? It's an English show. Oh, well, that's always good. Ooh. Yeah. You got more packed to the rafters? Yeah, Agatha Christie's. Oh, one. yes. Yep, I know that one. Yeah. That is a good one. Uh, but you got numbers, you got Hell on Wheels, Alias, Greys. <laughs> Goodness gracious. Goodness gracious, Laura. Waking well, the Dead is awesome. It's an English show. Can't believe how much Dragon Ball Z you've got here, I too. Know. I was pricing them and I was thinking about putting them back in the cupboard. Well, no. <laughs> no, you don't want to do that. Fortune. Well, how, how complete is it? I've got two, three, four, and five, I think, but not one. Okay. And then you've got a different couple of, as well yeah, here. Yeah, there's a, quite a few odd ones. A couple of random. Yeah. I, I don't even know the background because this, this Revelations, I know, was a certain set. Oh, uh, sorry, Revolution. Yes, so. yeah, that's one set in itself. And then I the, feel two, like the this, movies are a set as well. I feel like this was the original though. Yeah, all, all of these here. Definitely. And these are the ones that were more modern. Yes. I've never seen this one. Yeah. Saga of Goku. That's not worth as much, that one. No, it's not. You're 100% no. right. And, um, um, Murder, she wrote, though. Is that complete? Yes. Wow. I've never seen that complete. <laughs> yes. Found, and this is and all off shops? Ones, these, no. No. And these ones are movie specials, so they're a bit different again. Oh, okay. Movie special one, two, three. You do that as a bundle. How many you got? 13. You got 10 of them or so. One, nice. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten, yeah. yeah. And then you've got Dragon Ball GT, the Lost yeah, Episodes. Only two of them. Is that part of this? Yes, yeah. Just a couple short. That's why I feel like there might be okay. more somewhere, but I'm not sure. Okay. No, no, it's, it's people I talk to online who have them. So you're, you're sourcing them off uh, groups, are you, or something? Talking to people. Well, it's all about connections. Yes, that's right. And they've got more to sell me. I just haven't answered them because, wow. number one, I haven't got enough money to keep buying them. And two, my kids are going a bit mad because the house is filling up again. Filling up again. <laughs> Hence why we're here, hey? That's right. Trying to help you out and take a few things because I need, right. I was talking to you last week. But and I'm your, your garage is full of DVDs. Doesn't that bother you? Yeah, well, it does a little bit. I'd like yeah. to sell a few. Yeah. But, um, yeah, no, it's um, it's it's pretty full, but I also need to keep it moving with new stock. Yeah. Um, so this sort of stuff is is obviously what I'm after. What do you, what do you do? You feel that there's anything to be gained by cancelling and relisting? Yes. Oh, okay. Yes, yeah, I think I that's. Was reading that. I think that's a very smart thing to do, just yeah. to make it look new. Yes. Um, so I'm doing that all the time, the end and relist. Okay. Um, but yeah, look, you've got TV shows, <laughs> and you know that's what I want. <laughs> Ruby. Ruby. Collection one and two here of All Saints. Oh, how many episodes of Grey's is there? 16? 16, 18, I think, actually. You need a few. You should check your listing. Yeah, I need those three. You need those three. And I've got two, 14. 11 to 14. 15, 16. 15, 16. But is it 18 or 16? Uh, I think there might be 18. Yeah. But that would get you a lot further up the line. Yeah. Ruby says, why didn't you bring Winnie for a visit? I should have brought Winnie for a road trip. <laughs> yeah. Hello. Right. Little no, cutie. Little no, cutie. Nicest natures. 
Um, all right, so DVDs are looking pretty solid. Oh. No doubt about it. You're still doing your clothing, hey? Oh. Can't get away from it? I can't get away from it. You love it. <laughs> can't get rid of it. Yeah, we know. That's, that's why I stopped. Yes, I know. But you're well, still doing it. Hey, um, Oz, winter. Oz Treasure Hunters, remember Jax? Yes. You should message him about all this. Why does he have to do clothes? He's doing a lot of clothing. Really? Yep. So put... There's a couple of pair of used jeans there. I know you like the used. Here? Yeah. Yeah, I've just, I've just run away from clothing in general. Oh, everything. Yep, in general. I've got a couple of boxes left and I've been giving it off to people pretty cheap. Yeah. Yep. Oh, you got more DVDs. Uh, what are these DVDs over oh, here? They're all one-offs. Oh, just bits and bobs, eh? Yeah. Hey, a couple of books here. Yeah, now for Courtney. Yeah. Courtney would love these. Yeah, I know. <laughs> yep, yep, she's a bit of a bookworm. Yeah, well, there's lots more in the shed, but they're all pretty bloody. Um, have you got, like, them in crates or something? Yes. Okay. Yes. Um, have you got Lifeline to turn up and take them away? No, not yet, I haven't. No? No, I'll tell you for you. Have a look first. We might have a look at those. Yeah. Um, there's some hats over there. Um, oh. Is this all initial? No, just initial D up here. That's they're all anime type of things. Oh, I agree. And they're them. all BBC. BBC, you got some ER. That's yeah, cool. Yeah, they're all sort of one offs. One offs, I hear. These are my daughter's shoes. Not, not the men's ones, these three. Oh, what's this Yu Gi Oh that you got, Laura? Oh, I knew you'd like that. Yeah. Yu-Gi-Oh cards. This is, I had a friend helping me get the stuff out. Oh. She said, what is this? I said, doesn't everybody have a bag of oh, Snoopies? Oh, I've actually, we just listed them, Courtney. A bag of Snoopies in their garage? We just listed those. They actually go okay. You know these are the, you know these are the Happy Meal ones? Yeah, look, they got McDonald's. McDonald's, yeah. They're the Happy Meal, round the world toys. Happy Meal. Happy Meal stuff goes well. Goes well. Yeah. Yeah, went really well. We got a big box of it the other day that I saw. Um, do you know if you've got them all? I don't even know. What do you mean? I have there's no a, idea. There's about 20 or so. Is in, there a number on them? No, something? but they, they, they made, I think it's from 2002 or 2003. Yeah. No, I wouldn't have a clue, but there's a lot there. I've got some listed. Uh, I think what, I had about. Individually? No, I did a group lot. Okay. You list this up as a group. Yeah. Yeah. And then, oh, you got some shoes here? Yeah. These are nice. Yes. Oh, nice. Who are they? Are in very good condition too. Uh, then you got some Asics, some Sikonis. Up oh, massive. Yeah, well, yeah, aren't they big? What size? I think they're thirteen. Wow. Mm -hmm. Can't even see the tag. Oh, they're nice. Oh, that's sick. Do you want them? What was that? Even they're nice. Jess, she knows this stuff. More DVDs. More DVDs? Goodness me. Can we come down? What's that? Can we come down? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yes. See, this is my son's complaint that I don't have room for them to sleep. Oh, look at all your DVDs in here. Oh, wow. You got Sherlock. Minder. Oh, mine is good, yeah. Um, call the midwife. Call the midwife's good. These toolbox ones, I never know if they're any good or not. Yeah, uh, probably not, unfortunately. Um, not as good. Some this teenage this, Ninja Turtle one. This Creek one, Jonathan Creek, that goes pretty well. Yeah, if you want a good series to watch. Yeah. The Killing. The Killing, I've heard. heard that's that's good. So yeah. Oh, goodness me, Laura. You didn't bring a big enough car? I always don't bring a big enough car. <laughs> I said to Courtney, I said, this is the third time I've been here. Yeah. The Office, Outlander, another Aneedon line, there's one out there. Uh, is that Odin? Or One Dine? Or whatever it's called? It's Aneedon. Oh. The Aneedon line, you <laughs> deal. Oh. How cool. Wow, this is amazing. I'm just, you remember Matt, he came to our other house and did a pig pick? Are you there? No, oh, not there. <laughs> she must have known it was me. Yeah. I wanted to hang out, hang out.
So a lot of books, hey? Yes. Book, book, book. Yes. And uh, and it's it's oh Harry Potter. Some marbles. Oh, oh you got some marbles. There's a bit of everything down here. A bit of weed. Um. Dan Brown. See you Dan Brown, yeah. Again. A lot of Dan Brown. Dan Brown goes pretty well. Yeah. This is you've got you've still got quite a bit of space in here. You do. I'm supposed to be parking my car in here. Oh, I see. So you don't. Japan. Made from Japan for your China. Yes. And you got yes. a bit of it, do you? Japan and England. See, there's English. Yeah, oh. that's, a, that's a set. Geez, I wish so I really, knew about really it. Really well looked after, obviously. Hey, um, yeah. this, is also, this is also Jack's as well, you know. Oh, is it really? He would do clothing and this stuff. Oh, okay. He, he's quite good on all that. See, I look at it and not, I don't know anything. Yeah. Dessert. Gordon Ramsay, yeah. passion for flavour. And then Courtney's got... A couple of Rich Dad books, Guide to Investing. And then we've got some Richard Branson, Robert Kiyosaki, Rich Dad, Poor Dad. These are classics, you know. Mm. Johnny Lewis. Is there the third one in there? There's a couple there. Yeah, I reckon you could bundle the Robert Kiyosaki books. You could do that and that. Rich Dad, Poor Dad. <laughs> oh, bless you. Oh, bless you. Are you allergic to doggies or... Um, Dustin Dawson, <laughs> but it's fine. <laughs> Happy to be here. Yeah. All right, we've got a, we've got a big tub here. What's it, uh, where's your other tub, Courtney? Uh, here. Just that one over there. So we've got that, that tub there, and then we've got this tub here that we're going to take upstairs. But Laura's got a nice little extra room up here, or down here, and uh, it was kind of cool to be able to see it. These are really cool. We didn't look at these before. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle toys down here. <laughs> Did you just find a big bundle in the op shop or something with these, did you? Oh, online. Online? People sell them on, in bundles all the time. On Facebook? Yeah. Yeah, yeah good little bundles to get. Um, yeah. That, that guy's really cool. I might leave that for now, just because we've got so much other stuff here. Look at that there. Once upon a time. That's a cassette, uh, cassette tape set, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. yeah, look at that. Complete as well. I remember them. I've seen them a few times before. Mm -hmm. Don't know if they sell for a great deal. About $25. Twenty five. Yeah. It's not too bad. Can we look at a, a price on everything in this corner? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, all of it. <laughs> yeah, I, I do want all of that. We work on that. I just want you to know that now so we can work on some pricing for that. Oh, sorry, Courtney, I'm announcing you. Oh, that's all right. Um, Laura's just said that she's got some video game consoles. She didn't even know she had them. So she's about to show us those and could get us interested. What um, what consoles are they, Laura? Oh. Have you got a Game Boy? No. Uh, yeah, I think so. Oh. I'm not sure. Oh. Sorry. I'm terrible cool. at forgetting of these. Let's have a look at this. Bring it out. And... Oh, I'm a shocker for remembering things. Oh, yeah, okay. Oh, those little Pokemon games. Nice. Jeez, you kept this a secret, <laughs> Laura, didn't you? <laughs> didn't you? Hey? Oh, see, you have to do something to stir my... Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. Memory. Blue Rescue Team. I think that goes in there. Oh. That's really cute. Um, and this is a Nintendo 3DS. Yeah, 3DS. What's that one? Just a DS Lite or something? Yeah, just a standard DS. Yeah, that's and you got the Pokemon case. Yeah. And then a charger. This is nice. This is beautiful, this one. Look at it. Oh, it looks in pretty good, Nick. Yeah. And then you got Pokemon. Some good games here. Some good games here. We've got three loose games. And then we've got a Pokemon box game. Oh, look, oh. coming on. Charging up. Coming on. Yep, that one does. And that's the charger in it too, isn't it? Where do you it? put the games? It goes oh, in, yeah. uh, in the back there. Oh, yeah, there you go. Oh, that's awesome. Isn't that cute? And then this one turns on, I reckon. Yeah, I'd say. Stop it. Stop yeah. it, you two. They're so naughty. All right, now, no, nothing else. No other scaries? Okay. You've got everything? Nothing else you want to show me? No, I don't think so. No. Nah. I can't think of anything. Okay. No stress. Well, I don't know how we do this. No. Because there's quite a bit here to look through. It's going to be difficult, isn't it? Um, 
Do we want to count them all up? Well, that's what we did last time. Did we? Yep. Counting up how many individuals. 1, 2, 3, 10, 12, 20. Got to 100 on. What do you reckon? It might be fairer because otherwise some are not... Some are worth more than others. Exactly so that's right. An easier way to balance it out. Well, it's just a unit price per the DVD. Yes. And then we go times that out by however many. Yeah. That's that's probably the easiest. Yeah. So we might have to do some counting. Courtney, yeah. we'll dive into yours in a second. Mm -hmm. But if you yeah. can help us, mm -hmm. we might do a tub each, hey? Mm -hmm. I'll do this tub. Laura, you do that one. Courtney, you do that. I'm just going to get a pen and paper. Pen and paper, yeah, that's the best, best way. Two. So that means we've got 334. DVDs. So we've got the books and then the shoes. And that is what we're dealing with. And then the video games. I, I don't know how to pass the books, to be honest. Um, 50 cents each. Count them all up. 20 bucks. Well, is that... Do you think there's that many in there? I don't know. there would be a few more. Three, thirty-seven. Okay, about forty. About forty. Oh, just a slow mover. Yeah. And there's a lot of post in this, mm -hmm. cost in this. Um, uh, this set might go. I'll surprise you, it's a nice is it? set. It's a popular. Um, is there just the two? No, no. There's seven in it. Seven it's, in it. It's a young adult set, which is quite popular. Nice. It sells for about forty dollars. Oh, that's good. So that'll almost yeah. pay for the lot. Yes. Definitely. Okay. Well, that's nice to know. Definitely. All right. What did you say? Twenty dollars. Oh, I went fifty fifty cents a book. Yeah. Twenty bucks. Yeah. All right. Are you happy with that? Yeah. If you're happy with that, mm, that's okay. Better. I should I should have let Courtney negotiate there because yeah, right. Courtney's a bit nervous on the negotiation. <laughs> um, oh no. So we got that yeah. one. That one. Now these are brand new. I'm they are in good. Sure. They yes. are in good nick. Yeah, I've I've worn them once to see. That'll just wipe off. Yeah, that should, see, that, are a bit tight. that should come off. Wilson's, yes. Brooks. So what are you thinking? Uh, tennis shoe. Mm, I think those are probably worth a bit more than 10. Give you 20. How about 20 and 10s? And what are these? These are my Nike. Oh, my size, the Nike Air Max. Yeah. And what would you pay for these in the shop? Oh, new? New. That'd be like a $200 shoe. Yeah, well, look at that. Online, I could probably go about 80, I reckon. Yeah. I reckon I get about 80 on these. They're in good condition, too. Mm. 20 into 80, I'd probably make about 30 bucks on that shoe. That'd be 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70 dollars. How much you buy it for? I can't remember. 70 bucks, I bet it wasn't 70. Okay, shoes. We got seventy five dollars. Sure. Right. Cool. Oh no, no, we've got our Digimon. Digis. We need we need to look at this now. I'm not. I could do some numbers on this and have a look yes. into it for you. Yeah. Um, but you've got four games, three loose, and yes. then you've got two which appear to be working. Yeah. Um, consoles. Yes. Would you do a hundred dollars for the lot? No. How much? I think one of the consoles would sell for a hundred dollars by itself, even on marketplace. Mm, I think the three DS would. Yeah. That one not the, as much. Yeah, maybe. But, but the, this the little pink one would. Um, what if I did? What if I left that? Would you do? Oh shit! Hundred dollars. Hundred bucks for all that, eh? Is it, um, are you going to leave me the charger or not? I would take the charger because okay. I would yep. want to charge that. Yep. Um, would you do 80 if I left that one? You'd sell that for 100 and you made 180. That one's the better, yeah. this one's the better one. Oh, I know. Yeah. Courtney, are you interested in a pink? You know, I'm so Nintendo. annoyed. I had one of them and my dad just gave me away at a garage sale. Oh, that's how, all we, that's how we I find know, them. All of our stuff. That's yeah. how we find them. Yeah. <laughs> that's where we benefit. Yeah. I'd like to go with them all. I'd like I to go with them all. One twenty for the lot. You got to give me a better offer than that. One twenty. <laughs> no. 
150. Yeah, I'll leave it. How about 80 on the lot? Except for that. Yeah, all right. 80? Cool. 80 on that. Um, so that's bargain. that's 150 there. The I don't know. Yes, you are. You know you are. I know that I'm... <laughs> cool, I want Courtney to negotiate. Okay. I'll leave well, that. What's left? Get, get got that. a shoebox there. Jump that on... Um... What do you want for the shoebox? <laughs> $2.00. <laughs> Multiply with two ninety. Uh -huh. Two. Two ninety by two. Yeah. Now you got to say four. You say three. <laughs> Six. <laughs> Twos, I reckon. I think three is good. We did two last time though. Well, it's inflation. You know, much more rent we're paying. <laughs> You've got box sets, box sets, box sets, and you've nah, got brand new ones. Three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen, eighteen dollars that would be. Yeah, and you know what they sell for? No. Nah. Back to the rafters? Two, I reckon. Forty bucks. I reckon I'd do three if I bought maybe four or five off you. Yeah. But then buying the lot, two bucks. Oh no, so that's eighty, five eighty. Five eighty. So five eighty, and then that's everything. What what's their grand total? Worked out. Are you taking these or not? Um, no. You want to look up how much they're worth? No, I do. I know how much they're yeah, worth. No, it's yeah. more about the um the budget. Oh, okay. It's the budget. All right. Oh, they're into six, six seventy five, six seventy five, eight seventy five, eight uh, fifty five. Is that what you get? Um. Oh, seven, seven fifty five. Uh, twenty. That's six hundred and seventy five plus eighty. Yeah, seven seven fifty five. Seven fifty five. Yeah, that's what I got. Seven hundred and fifty five dollars. Yeah. Seven hundred and fifty five dollars, Laura. That's less than what you paid me last time. That's more than what I paid you last time. Yeah. What did you pay last time? Uh, there was a five and a six, I reckon. It's the first time really? I've hit the mid sevens. Goodness. Really? But that's probably like my stuff too. Well, this is, in is including a bit of Courtney's. This is everything. This is the grand total. So we've got and books. That's a lot of bargaining. Books, DVDs, a bunch of DVDs, and then we've got the video games and the shoes back there as well. And we've spent $755. Oh, here's my little violin. Laura, that's like a week's worth of pay. That's and you've got that in one lump sum. You don't have to ship it. You don't have to... Oh, we'll take it out of the house. Goodness me, Laura. I to add the crates. Oh, well, yeah. Well, I was going to round it out at seven fifty, dollars but... We might round that to $8. Goodness gracious, Laura. So a huge thank you to both Laura and Nathan, two unbelievable opportunities. A lot of PS1 games actually purchased off Nathan, ultimately $400 there, and then a few other bits and pieces for hundred bucks to make up a $500 deal. And then we whacked $750 with Laura as well. So $1,250 today. A Courtney's ended up paying $250 for an allotment of stock for herself. She's putting up three listings every single day into her store. Um, so that's actually gonna be about a couple of weeks worth of listings for her. For me, not so much a couple of weeks worth, however, high quality worth of listings, as you can see there. A lot of these DVD box sets that I'm picking up, the average sale price of those is like $60 to $80, and I'm buying them off Laura for sort of $10 to $15. Um, the video games, the PS1 games that I got off Nathan, I bought all of them for $10 each, and the average sale price is around about $40. Um, so there's some pretty decent money in that allocation as well from Nathan. So um, just incredibly um, stoked to be able to get those two opportunities all bundled within the one day. Um, fun little road trip with Courtney. I think she learned a lot as well, which was really cool to see. Uh, and it's just about an hour of listing it all up to go on to sell. So hopefully you've enjoyed this longer form piece of content. It's not the biggest buy that I've ever made. The biggest buy is actually the video that I'm linking right here for you guys. So go and click on that one, tune into that awesome private pick opportunity there. We'll see you in the next video.